So I'm going to show you how to use uh, Google uh, Google Sheets to uh, create a chart from a set of class data. Uh, this is data from a previous year, and so don't feel like you have the wrong information and panic. Uh, we are also, by using this data, going to be creating something that looks different from yours, so don't feel like you did something wrong. Uh, the trend line and the equation and the chart is going to look differently, but if you follow the steps, you'll be able to get the same uh, result, which is a trend line calculated for you and graphed into a chart. So I'm going to um, use this data set, the female data set. Um, I'm not going to select where it says female. I'm just going to collect my data headers, uh, which is something that you should definitely have in your chart in order for this to go well. Um, in order for this to go smoothly, you should have labels here. So if you don't, uh, you need to, above your data, type in those labels. And if your data is all the way at the top, um, then you're going to click on the same row as your first data and then go to insert, uh, insert row above. I'm not going to do that because mine's already set up fine. I'm going to select my data. I'm going to click and drag around all of the data, including the headers. I'm not going to select these empty boxes down here. So a little blue box is going to show up around all of my data. So I have my headers and all that, so I'm good. I'm going to go to Insert, and then down to Chart. And then so it's going to try to help us by predicting some recommended charts. These are not the charts that we want. My data is selected correctly, and mine says use row 2 as headers. And that's because, if you remember, my row 1 has male and female in it. Um, this should say for you, use row 1 as headers, and that's where your uh, maximum length of the tibia and your height is going to be. So that should be checked for you. I'm going to click over to Charts, and then the chart that works best for this is a scatter plot. I'm going to pick this one, and so it's going to go ahead and put all of our data in there. So those are all of the data points that we have so far. I'm going to click over to Customize, and these are the things that you uh, learned probably in middle school about good habits. Uh, so my chart title should be um, Height Estimation. My legend, so this is over to the right, which is fine. Um, and then you see as I click off of height estimation, this updates in real time. All this stuff is fine for me, so I'm going to keep growing down. So here's the axis and horizontal axis, which is down here. I'm going to change that title. So those are all of my tibia lengths. So I'm going to say maximum length tibia, and then in parentheses say cm, centimeters. Now. This data point is right on the line because um, it analyzed the data and then scaled it to fit all of my data. Uh, if you want, if you don't want that on the line, um, I'm not sure what your math teacher is going to tell you if they shouldn't have data points there or not. Um, if they want data points to be off of the axes, you could just say like 25 and then click off of that and then it rescales. It's not going to change any of our analysis. Um, so I'm going to delete that, uh, and then it's going to go back to filling up the whole thing. I should also label my other axis, though. So if I click on that and hit left vertical axis, I'm going to type in here the height. And then that's also in centimeters. So then it updates. So I have height estimation, I have height in centimeters, and I have maximum length of tibia in centimeters. Uh, and I also have my height is labeled. So um, I could change that if I wanted to. But I'm going to leave it the same. Nothing else needs to change up top. Um, everything else is where I want it. But this option, all the way down at the bottom of the customized table trend line, is the thing that we really need. Uh, so I'm going to click on that, and I want to do a linear trend line. So this basically makes a line of best fit, and then it calls it uh, trend line for height. I want to call it, instead of custom label, I'm going to say use equation. So then it writes the equation out for you. I could change the color, opacity, or whatever I want, but really this is the information that I need, so I'm going to hit insert. And so it puts that information right over top of my data, so I want to probably move that so I can see my original data. So you got a little hand here. If you go up to the top, I'm going to click that and just drag it over to the side. 
and then I'm going to scroll over so I can see this. A couple other options here that you might find beneficial. Really, you have the information that you need, but if you're trying to make this look pretty, there's a couple other things that you can do. Uh, if I want to edit the height estimation, because I forgot that it's uh, female, and if I'm going to make one for male, uh, so I want to make sure I identify this and don't forget. So I'm going to call this female, in parentheses, and then hit enter. It says press enter to apply, which I did that, so now it's updated. Um, if I'm done, I can hit the view mode, and so it makes it so this thing um, is kind of less responsive, so you're not accidentally deleting things or changing things. Um, but there's a couple other things I want to change. So I'm going to go back into the quick edit mode, and then I'm going to click into the chart area. I have a lot of space on the left and, the, um, and on the bottom with the axes, so I'm going to try to expand my chart a little bit. So I'm going to hit the uh, move and resize button, and I can hit the left border just like I'm resizing a photograph and stretch that out a little bit. And I can do the same thing on the bottom, stretch that out. And then if I move to the right, it's going to kind of crunch up my equation. So I want my equation to be level and all in one line. So that kind of scrunches up my data, but that way it's easier to see my equation. So I can go back into the view mode. Now, this option up here, if I don't like something or want to redo it, allows me to delete it. It allows me to save this as an image um, and do a couple other options here. I'm just going to, and the advanced edit, by the way, is how you get back to this creation menu. I'm going to exit out of that. Um, but that's my, that's my graph. Uh, if I wanted to change this uh, color, I could also go in here and um, I could hit the, maybe, um, and then I could change that trend line color so it sticks out a little bit more. And that's my graph. Um, this is the equation that you're going to use in order to predict height of your um, next experiment. Uh, I can also, uh, if that person's to be a length falls in this range, uh, you can drag your cursor along the length of the trend line, and it basically solves the equation for you. Um, the first bold number at the end, the 37.66 infinity, here is the tibia length, and then the last number is the predicted height from that equation. Uh, so, nice little feature here, and by doing a process similar to this, but then multiplying it across a data sample of thousands and thousands of people. That's how all the equations basically came to be from the forensic anthropology lab that we did. All the equations that they had set up for all the different genders and ethnicities all come from doing work very similar to this.